Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the history and origins of the Ghostbusters, Egon Spengler. With no evidence to the contrary, we'll be using Harold Ramis' actual birthday as Egon's for this video. Egon was born November 21st, 1944, which made him the oldest of the original Ghostbusters. He passed away February 24th, 2014. In the original film, Egon was named after Harold Ramis' classmate, Oswald Spangler, and a Hungarian refugee named Egon Dunsback. Christopher Walken, John Lithgow, Christopher Lloyd, and Jeff Goldblum were all considered for the role. Egon was raised in Cleveland, Ohio, where his parents didn't believe children should play with toys, with the exception of part of a slinky he had but straightened, and a train set his twin brother Elon had, which Egon had taken over to use in experiments. By observing fellow high school students making out in the park and applying a variety of scientific principles, Egon had managed to precisely forecast the exact number of VD cases in Ohio State for that year. As a result, most parents would express a strong aversion to letting their children associate with him. The reason Egon collects spores, molds, and fungi is because he believes them to be the food of the future. The only reason that Peter has his double doctorate is because Egon single-handedly got him through graduate school. Egon is a graduate of MIT and a doctor of physics, i.e. a PhD, which is a doctor of philosophy degree, more than likely with a focus on the sciences rather than the arts. He was also a professor of paranormal studies at Columbia University, which means he attained his professional degree. In the Ghost Busted manga, it's said that Egon studied four years at Columbia University, two years at Oxford, and lived with Gnostic monks of Carpathia for an extended period of time. In IDW Comics, Egon attained PhDs in parapsychology and microbiology, and taught himself electronics, mechanics, mathematics, and became fluent in three and a half languages. The reason Egon tried to drill a hole through his head, as mentioned in the first film, was to promote higher brain function. This was inspired by the actual thwarted attempt by John Lilly, who was a prominent researcher in dolphin communication. In early drafts of the Ghostbusters 2 script, Egon was said to be working as a physics professor, specializing in quantum theory. Egon is known to put very few restraints on the scope of his research. This is evident when it's referred to him sleeping with the mood slime. Egon was usually the first to interview paranormal case subjects and came up with the line, we're ready to believe you. He and Ray are the ones who design and build all the Ghostbusters equipment. Egon's only real weakness is that of sugar, which means you have to wonder what actually went through his head when the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man attacked. During the event, he said he was too scared for rational thought. It really makes me wonder if he thought his favorite snack, that of sugar, was finally getting its revenge on him. With this, is it plausible to suggest that it wasn't just Ray who conjured up Mr. Stay Puft, but Egon as well? Given his response, I would imagine his worst fear would be that of his delicious snacks attacking him. In the real Ghostbusters animated series, Egon's greatest fear was that of the Boogeyman. It was his original encounter with the creature that led to his study of the paranormal. However, in IDW comics, it's said that Egon witnessed his friend Eugene Visitor vanish without a trace when hit by a car, and that is what led him down the path of paranormal research. There you have it guys, the history and origins of Egon Spangler. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you head over to our other channel, Psychology of the Unknown, where we go over other great video topics like Jack the Ripper, the science of ghosts, and more. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.